knew in November of 2009 why we had separated. Carrie Charlesworth tells me the principal at Holy Trinity School knew about her situation at home. In fact, most people did. Carrie taught second grade here. All four of her kids were students. She says everyone at work knew her ex-husband Martin had abused her several times. Even now she fears him and asked us to blur his face. I left. I filed restraining orders. I pressed charges. I testified against him. And that's what they tell you to do. And she thought she was doing the right thing back in January. Martin threatened her over the weekend, so she told the principal on Monday. A maintenance worker spotted Martin driving around campus and the place went on lockdown. Even that day when everything happened and I was told I was only going to be out for a week, I thought I'm going to be back on Monday. But she hasn't been back since. Neither have her kids. She got this letter saying their presence wasn't safe for the students. And a few parents I talked to off camera today agreed, saying some even threatened to pull their children. But there comes a point where you have to do what's right for people. And this is, I think, a prime example of why victims of domestic violence do not come forward with their situation. Carrie says she feels like the criminal. And while her husband is the one locked up for the abuse, she's trapped as well. How am I going to get a job? What do I say when they say, why did you leave your last job? Because my school felt I was a security threat. Who's going to put me in front of a classroom?